Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of stand-up comedy for these plants, I think. So, that's the thing, I'm intrigued to see how this is going to work. So, we spoke to this guy last time, the barman. He gave us this drink, Pinch Me Pitcher, which I'm thinking is probably going to wake us up, given that, you know... You say you pinch yourself in your dream and you wake up. So, we can't talk to these guys. I don't know that we can go backstage again. Mr Fumble's still hanging around back there. Doesn't look like we can, so I can't go over the rules again, but that's probably going to be fine. That seems a bit niche. Very niche, actually. I, should we just try using the microphone and see what happens? Okay, then. Why don't carnivorous plants like wearing trousers? Why did the pitcher plant enjoy being on an all-fly diet? Did you hear Snoop Dogg's latest song about interplanetary travel? Thank you and good night. I guess we do plant-related ones. Why don't carnivorous plants like wearing trousers? Uh, okay, so it was so easy to stick to because their flies keep getting stuck. Sounds like it. It was a Venus flight wrap. Thank you and good night. I'm guessing it's this one. Hey! Get it? Oh, come on! Tough crowd. It was a good one! Everyone appreciates a good dad joke. Apparently, not these guys, though. Why did the pitcher plant enjoy being on an all fly diet? Why did the pitcher plant enjoy being on an all fly diet? Uh, it was so easy to stick to. It's terrible, Tom, these jokes. You're like in full proper dad joke mode. I love it. It was so easy to stick to. Anyone? Come on. Is this thing on? I don't appreciate good comedy, that's all I'm going to say. Did you hear Snoop Dogg's latest song about interplanetary travel? Did you hear Snoop Dogg's latest song about interplanetary travel? It was a Venus flight trap. It was a Venus flight trap. <laughs> oh, I got a couple of laughs. Oh, come on, this is comedy gold. Got a couple of laughs there. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. I wonder if the judges enjoyed my routine. Yeah, I feel like that could have gone better. Two, three, mm -hmm. six. Still room for improvement. Okay, two, three, six. I think they're expecting me to talk into it. Okay. Okay then. Oh, we haven't got Thank any more. Thank you and good night. Oh, they liked that. I wonder if the judges enjoyed my routine. Two, three, mm. five. Still room for improvement. Hmm, okay. Two, three, five and two, three, six. They're now... A great way to get from the floor to the stage without flying. Uh, okay, fine. Microphone. Can we say anything else to the barman? He looks like a giant green bucket with eyes. He does, yeah. Hey, I can hear you in a monologue when you say it out loud. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Hello. Hey, little lady. Uh, what's the prize? What's the prize? Usually, it's whatever I can find behind the bar. I could do with something that'll prevent me falling to my death. Heavy. So Preferably did... not. <laughs> People usually just want money. But if you score over 20 points, just come over to the bar and I'll see what I can find. Oh, uh, we didn't win. Uh, we didn't get over Thanks 20. Anytime. I, I wonder if there's going to be a link between, like, the dream world and the normal world where you have to go back. Maybe to, like, learn better jokes and then we can come back and try those and things along those sort of lines. Can we talk to these guys? I don't think I'm supposed to be talking to them. No, we can't. All right, let's see what happens if we use this. Okay, here goes. Yeah, it does wake us up. I thought it would. That's pretty cool. Man, that tasted horrible. <laughs> Even in our dream, it tasted horrible, apparently. So... It's my crappy dream box. Can with we... a plant joke book inside. And a toy bear. Yeah, I wonder if Picking we need... it up would most likely bring back my nightmare. Okay, well, we're not going to do the nightmare I'll just, just yet. It up. What I want to do is read this book again, just to see if there's any new jokes. It's probably more effective if I tell the jokes to someone else. Yeah, I wonder if we can... An inspiring collection of jokes for carnivorous plants. I know someone who's going to bust a stem over these. Right, yeah, so it doesn't look like that does anything. Good idea, but I need to find a suitable place for the box first. Okay, let's put the box back down. Hmm. Maybe next to the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah next to the bed. Uh, the bear goes in. The book goes in. I suppose this counts as inspiration. Okay. I can always pick it up again later. Fine, so there's that. Um, so, what else do we need to do? 
uh, try and remember the passcode for the laptop and fix the bike. Um, could, could, just a thought. Looks like I've got an email. It wants my passcode. It's a three digit code. So could it be 235 or 236? I get locked out. I'll wait until I remember my passcode. Okay. I don't want to get... No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I wondered if the, the code was the, the three judges' scores, but it doesn't look like it. So, we need to also fix this bike. How are we going to do that? Let's head downstairs. I'm not going out there in my pyjamas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. It automatically changes. That's good. Right, let's have a look at this bike. See the hell's going on with this thing. I need to find something to patch the hole in the tyre. Looks oh. like I'm not going anywhere until it's fixed. Okay, so maybe the plaster will work. This should patch that hole in the tyre. Yeah, Great. nice. It's still flat though. Right, it's still flat, so we need some air or a pump or something. Um, do we have anything that could pump up a tyre? He's got remarkably sharp teeth. So sharp teeth, that'll come in useful for something, you know, where we need something sharp, I guess. Anywhere we can get some air. Hmm. I mean, literally, the only three-digit code that we've seen so far has been the the scores that they've held up, right? And that's just like something in something like this. Brilliant. <laughs> wow, that was brilliant. Well done, Lucy. Um... <laughs> Is there like a bike pump or something around here? I don't think there was off the top of my head, but it's, it's probably worth having another look, right? We have killer rusty nails, oil, paintbrush... Mm, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. There's the net. Hmm, okay. Alright, upstairs we go. Uh, I'm not really sure. Where would we get something with air in it? fan maybe although I don't I can't imagine that we're gonna take that downstairs and use it to blow up the the tire um, no hmm, just some books and things I don't really see anything that's gonna help there I mean there's bubbles here but I doubt that's gonna work uh, all right well perfect for sleeping in maybe we do just need to go back to sleep so let's let's just this try. This is where all hell breaks loose. Let's try going back to sleep. Okay, we're back at this bit, so we're not gonna have. Oh, we still got the drink as well. Uh, did we unlock any new? Okay then. New jokes. We did not. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Thank you and good night. I wonder if the judges enjoyed my routine. Three, three, five. Still room for improvement. So, three, three, five. Apparently that was better than last time. That has, it's got to be the, the combo, right? Three, three, five. Okay. Looks like I've got an email. It wants my passcode. Okay. I don't want to get locked out. I'll wait until I remember my passcode. Hmm, okay. I don't want to get locked out. I'll wait until I remember my passcode. Alright, well, doesn't look like we can use that until we know the passcode for sure. Um, hmm, okay. How are we going to get over 20? Unless it is a case of just reading the the book. Maybe. I mean... Can we... It's probably more effective if I tell the jokes to someone else. Alright, let's try using it on the plant. Why are carnivorous plants so good at keeping secrets? They keep their traps shut. Look at those tendrils go! <laughs> Maybe we've just got to keep reading it. What's a flytrap's favourite game? Snap! 
Snap, that's a good stop one. Soon. He might uproot himself. Okay, let's... Because that one wasn't one of the options, was it? Why do carnivorous plants love old adventure games? They're full of bugs. <laughs> oh no, that was the last one. Right, okay. There we go then. So it must have been a case of needing to... To read all of them, I'm guessing. Because she's, it's, she's almost I like... Suppose this counts as inspiration. She's almost like suggested that that was it for the book. So maybe we had to tell more jokes? Let's try. Alright, let's see if we can tell any more. If not, I'm not really okay, sure. Then. Ah, yes, here we go. So there are more. Why are carnivorous plants so good at keeping secrets? Why are carnivorous plants so good at keeping secrets? Uh, they're full of bugs. They keep their traps shut. They keep their traps shut. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're starting to come around. It went a bit better. Yeah. What's a fly trap's favourite game? What's a fly trap's favourite game? Snap. Snap. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to laugh now. You, I'm here all week. <laughs> Why do carnivorous plants love old adventure games? Why do carnivorous plants love old adventure games? They're full of bugs! They're full of bugs! <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Now I'm the place is fire. rocking. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. Well, that's all the jokes I know. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, what? I'm happy with that. And that's oh, 21. look kind of familiar too. I wonder what the prize will be. Ah, so this, the code's going to be 777, isn't it? They are great. So we, we were almost there. I was right about the number, but we obviously just had to do more jokes to get it. It probably digests me. Oh, yeah. Uh, talk to, not use. Hello. Hey, little lady. So we got 21, so... I scored over 20 points. What's my prize? Great job. Let me see what I can find back here. Come on, something good. It's not a lot. You'll just have to take my pet, Herman. Herman? Oh, what? Oh my god. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you. <laughs> Remember, items you're carrying while you're asleep stay in your inventory. Even if you switch dreams. Good ah, tip, thanks. Okay. Daytime. Even if we switch dreams. So there's different dreams then, but the, the inventory items will stay the same. Herman the Giant Fly. Okay. So, I'm guessing Herman won't exist in the real world? No, he doesn't. That's cool. I like that there's what separate inventories. What say? Items I was carrying in one dream will appear in another. I wonder if that'll help me with my nightmare. Maybe. Let's remove this natty dream box and see what happens when I go back to sleep. Okay. Maybe. But first, I want to try using this thing. 777. Looks like I've got an email. It wants my passcode. So it looks like we couldn't have brute forced it, which is which is kind of cool. Seven, seven, seven. That's it. We're in. Okay. Right. Let's read that email. All right. Where is it? Hmm. Do I remember what? To Lucy. It's from someone calling themselves H. Looks like there's a photo attached. Okay. Remember this. It's an article from the local paper ten years ago. Disley Ferret Murdered. The director of Figgington's controversial new theme park, Disneyland, was found <laughs> murdered the day before the grand opening. He was discovered dressed up as the park's mascot, the Disley Ferret. However, police are still searching for the missing head of the costume, as they believe it may help lead them to the head of the director. Which was also missing. The huh. rest of the article's been torn off. I mean, it doesn't Wait a look. Minute. Something's coming back to me. It doesn't look too dissimilar to the badger's head in the hallway, in all honesty. Oh, <laughs> we're like tiny. <laughs> also, Disneyland. Um, <laughs> getting close to, <laughs> to to getting a call from somebody's lawyers there, perhaps. There's something familiar about this whole story. My past, my memories, my nightmares. I feel like they're all connected to this event. Ooh. My dad's book's helping me to control my dreams. But if I can find out exactly what went on ten years ago, maybe I'll be able to rid myself of these nightmares altogether. 
I reckon the local library will have a full copy of the article in its archives. My bike's parked just outside the house. Although I'd like to see if I can do anything about my nightmare first. Okay, so we've got to do something about the nightmare and then head to the library. We need to pump up the tyre, obviously. So fix the bike and then find the article. Let's see if we can jump into the dream and see what this nightmare actually Here is. Here we go again. Because I'm guessing it's just the one where we're falling. Let's see anyway. Yeah, okay. Thin air. It's going past very quickly. So it's just thin air. Okay. Hmm. Yep, it's still the same. And it's still horrible. So I wonder if we can use the, um... Because she said, I wonder if the, the fly thing will help. So let, let's give that a go. Fly, Herman, fly! Oh, we can land! Good job, Herman. I guess this means my nightmare is finally over. Oh, maybe not. We don't seem to be able to go anywhere. Uh-oh, what is that? I think I'd better start running. <laughs> oh god, monster drool. Ew, that's really nasty. How am I going to stop it from chasing me? It seems to be gaining on us. Um... Although, oh, the dream's just going to end. Okay, well, it's progressed. I suppose you could call that progress. But frankly, it's not a whole lot more relaxing than plummeting. I wonder if my dad's book has any more pearls of wisdom. Maybe. Chapter 2. Breaking bread. <laughs> Sharing food with friends and enemies alike can help to bring you inner peace while you sleep. Both figuratively and literally, food can inspire companionship and reconciliation. Okay, so a joke book's not going to cut it with Mr. Awesome back there. Okay, sharing food with enemies. So maybe the brother? Possibly. Let's uh, have a look. Add inspiration to the dream box. Bread slash baking related. All right, well, <clears throat> I don't think we have anything bread or baking related just yet, but we've made quite a bit of progress in this episode. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.